Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, how we use uh, our new tuning tool for the flippers um, for the complex flippers so as you uh, maybe have seen in another video um, we, we have a complex flipper simulation um, which can be activated in Pinball United here uh, well here complex flippers alright um, so in this video I'm, uh, I will go in details uh, on how the simulation is driven and uh, how complex flippers um, can be tuned and uh, how it will be available to you to tune your own uh, flipper um, so uh, here is just uh, Adam's uh, table uh, I will change the the camera so you can see we also changed the camera uh, system uh, there you can see the flippers are working and I will go into the uh, uh, the ROM uh, the ROM menu just to be uh, to, to be clear and to, to have plenty of time to explain so as you can see here I used uh, the mouse to um, to spawn a ball where I want it's the buckshot uh, tool. Like this one, you can uh, you can see uh, details of it in another video. Uh, well, uh, here I'm gonna uh, just uh, to begin. I, I will uh, uncheck the complex flipper simulation, and uh, as you can see there, uh, we have uh, quite a basic. Uh, behavior of the flipper um, I think it's the same simulation as uh, in VP well quite at the base of VP the VP um, base development and, uh, and FP so there um, the speed of the flipper is uh, full uh, on the command so uh, when I click on the flipper the, um, the force applied to the rotation of the flipper is at its maximum uh, once I, I, I clicked and same when I released the button uh, the speed of the flipper is uniform all right so uh, it's quite useful we can reach every every part of the table uh, however uh, this may not be uh, really a, really realistic uh, especially for the flipper down all right uh, often you have uh, some uh, what we call uh, maybe smooth flipper uh, you see when I click quickly uh, the flipper speed to get down is really fast and uh, I will just show you when I activate the complex flippers I can I can release it and you see it, it take some time to get down so uh, what will be of use uh, in, in flipper simulation is often it gives you more control of what you want to do uh, for example there you can um, alright I will spawn the ball there um, it's it's easier here for example to well you see just give some small uh, small hit on the ball uh, instead of full power from the old yes, okay so uh, how uh, can, will you be able to tune this so uh, we developed um, a curve simulation and it's driven by curves so uh, here you have the curve system on the left um, the curve is based on functions and you will be able to define your own functions so here for now there are only three functions which I will explain now uh, the first one is um, a curve uh, uh, explaining the behavior uh, in complex flipper simulation um, uh, here you have uh, a force okay this this curve describes as I can see here 
uh, it describes the force multiplier uh, applied to the flipper solenoid since the user pressed the, the flipper button. So uh, you have here in the x axis the time in second um, and uh, here above uh, you got the well uh, as you can see I have also uh, this uh, it's a feature which was requested it's um, a second uh, um, a second DMD display. Uh, I, I will make another video to explain how it works later on because you you can add it, this to in cabinet mode, but this is not the goal. Well, of this video, so I will remove it now. Sorry about that. Um, where is okay? So back to the uh, to the curve editor. Um, so, uh, as you can see here, uh, it's just a multiplier. Uh, so, uh, you have there, um, maybe you can't see it really neat. Okay, I will zoom in. Alright. So, here you have uh, the value of the y axis. Um, here it's one because it's a multiplier. So the goal of this curve is to um, maybe attenuate the f the, um, the force uh, on the flipper according to the time uh, since when the the user pressed the flipper button. So as you can see there, uh, well this curve is based on a solenoid response uh, curve I found on the web. And um, it gives quite good results. Um, well, uh, more important here is the y, the x-axis uh, maximum value here. So uh, it's just about um, 0 0.1 seconds. So uh, it takes for the for the flipper. 0.1 seconds to reach the full power. So this curve drives well, um, flippers are driven by force on our uh, implementation on our simulation. Uh, we could have uh, drive, drove it by uh, maybe speed or position, but there it's by force. And so this this is the curve attenuation of the force. Mm, uh, so for example, uh, let's say I want it to be uh, to, to, to take more time to reach the full speed to, to reach the full power of the solenoid so here we have an edition button so now everything is editable from the title uh, to the what to the axis names and um, the uh, the curve uh, the, the curves um, the curve shape and here the axis bounds uh, let's say maybe 10 seconds to reach the full power. So now as I spread the ball, you see when I click, flipper is far longer to reach to reach the, the full power. So that's why here I can't I can well flip the ball. Alright. Um, back to well let's say one second and uh, so I can take that the the force is really not uh, is really not powerful enough to, to send it there. Uh, I can change the curve the curve shape. So for example here, may, if you guys are uh, are accustomed to maybe uh, 3D Studio Max or um, well curves editor. This one, or uh, in Unity, in the in the animation curves, um, this will speak to you. So for you can give the shape you want. You can add multiple points uh, and change the the tangent uh, mode uh, here for uh, just a uh, basic point, uh, a smooth point, right, and uh, a smooth corner. Well. Never mind. You can remove points. So uh, let's say I want uh, this to reach quickly the power. 
Uh, okay. So, for example, there, uh, if I use this kind of curve, meaning uh, its its value is one every time, as its multiplier, the behavior will be the same as. Um, the same as the, the, the non-complex flipper simulation so I can change it uh, as I want um, another point here is uh, as I said we have three curves here so this one is for the force uh, is for the the, um, the force according to the time I will make it back to 0 0.1 um, we have uh, another curve here uh, this curve is for uh, is the same as the curve before but when we release the button so that's uh, how we control the, the uh, flipper smoothness I will say um, as I said before, it's the time when you release. Uh, it's the force by it's the curve uh, force by time when you release the flipper button. Um, so uh, let's say here I want to edit this curve and well, so here you see I can well flipper is really fast to get down. Um, and that's not the case when I do it. Uh, it will take time to get down first on the higher angles and then it will reach down faster. So it's just to have nonlinear uh, behavior. The last feature I wanted to show you is um, the uh, new curve creation. And for that, uh, we made um, a tool to help you. Uh, let's say I want to create a new curve, so uh, this is the basic curve you get when you create one and uh, say you you have uh, a photo or uh, some schematics in, in, on the internet and you want to, to use this to design your curve um, you can load a background image um, here for example uh, an Im a picture I took from um, from internet and uh, let's say I want to 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 match the blue the blue line uh, well I can use here all the tools uh, from this uh, curve editor and um, let's go so uh, here for example and um, all right. Let's add another point. Uh, just go quickly there. So uh, I think you will have all the tool needed to design your own curves. Um,